All right, so what I've done is uh, I've realized that I've made so many projects in the past and not not recorded it, and I was actually in the middle of another one and and just forgot and decided to grab the camera. So this is a screen out of those screens that you see that Velcro on the back of seats for kids to to watch on long trips and stuff. The I guess the case broke or something. I forgot what happened to it, but I salvaged the screen out of it and all the all the goodies inside so I can drive this LCD for something in the future. And I was sitting around the shop thinking what I could do and I was kind of wanting an outdoor camera for my my property here. And I had this this uh, sports cam thing. It's actually an underwater camera. It's got like it, it acts as night vision, you know. And um, this is just all black and white. It's an old CRT. I've already pulled it apart. Um, it's kind of bulky. So what I decided to do is to drive that camera and display it on this. And here's the board out of that CRT TV. And so what I will do is I will hook the camera up, put a jumper from uh, from the video into the input right here and i've tested it and it works it's still black and white but that's no problem it's uh, going to be for nighttime only anyways and i'm going to go ahead and put it all in this enclosure which i've already as you can see already cut the holes out for it and <clears throat> i'm hoping hoping everything works out right i think i'm going to take this and put it on like velcro it or, or attach it to the top of the box so it could be like a handheld handheld type of uh, unit but uh I'll come back on more. This is definitely going to take probably a week or two to do because I got a lot of work coming up. So stand by. All right, real quick, I just uh, just remembered something that those two boards I showed you they run off of two different voltages. This is a 12 volt. Uh, it runs off a boat or whatever. Um, it's got 12 volts, and that other board is uh, I think it's nine volts. So. Um, what I'm gonna have to do is build a, you know, a 317 or something, and make it, uh, make it input 12 volts off of a plug pack, and we'll go ahead and break it down to nine volts and to run that other board. But uh, I'll show you all that in a little bit. All right, changed it up. Got this portable TV. It already has a case and everything, so. I'm going to try to fit this little camera in there and drill a hole, got it marked already, and I'm going to try to uh, run all the, the video and all that shorter because it has these big bulky plugs on it. So I'm going to actually just tap right off the, the video we input for AV and um, we'll go from there. And I guess I'll mount those uh, those infrared LEDs right in this area here. All right, so I have gotten to the point to where I have trimmed the leads on the camera to fit. Like I said, I'm gonna hook up the the video. If it'll get into focus, I'm gonna hook the video straight to the back of that jack right there and I'm probably gonna put it on a switch that uh that'll let me disable the camera so if I ever want to put another auxiliary in here it'll still let me do it because if I don't do that and I try to plug another deal in it's not gonna work because the camera is always gonna be detected <clears throat> what I'm gonna do next is do that I gotta get uh gotta get the I think I'm gonna go with eight volts uh, on the power and audio I'm not worried about because it's just from the mic and uh, we're not going to worry about that at all because if I'm close enough to hear that it'll be okay say hi hi it's my little helper just keeping me in line playing with magnets <laughs> look yep it's gonna be... yep Yep. All right. So I'll be back in a minute. 
Okay, so I got all these infrared LEDs wired up and um, pretty crappy skills on soldering. But uh, I'm going to probably mount them in this area right here because on top of this big quad flat pack right here, there's seems to be plenty of room. And a little trick, you could take grease and put on top of the tops of them and then gently line it up and press it down where you want and then it'll leave perfect spot where you need to drill your holes anyways let me get to that all right so i guess i better tell you more about this little camera this is a camera that i found at radio shack it's uh one of those little security cameras um it's full color and everything and a really interesting fact it's not night vision sold as night vision but you could make it night vision just about any camera these days has the ability to see night vision you just have to uh to adapt it so uh it was about a hundred bucks i think it was kind of steep but it's got very good image quality so that's why i went with that one but uh let me show you real quick how i did it it's an extra lens here um you start by taking off the top and you gotta be very careful because these are layered in there a certain way but you unscrew the main cap like that and you're gonna have uh, on this particular one you have a uh, get get in there real good you have a uh, a little piece of dome glass right there we're gonna take that off okay it fell off and there's a little piece of a uh, I'm not I, th I don't know if it's polarizing or it's more like an infrared filter uh, it's just a little piece of glass a little flat piece of glass you flip that out I'm, I'm not gonna take it all the way out but you flip that out okay maybe I will take it all the way out take it out I'll show you that little piece of glass closer it's just uh, a iridescent looking just take that out and put your, your little piece of dome glass back on there, your little lens. Make sure everything is, uh, make sure you don't get no dust in all this either because it'll really degrade the image. Um, just make sure that's sitting there properly. Screw it back together. And now this has the ability to see uh, infrared. So any kind of infrared LED or anything like that will show up on your camera. And it could be done with just about any camera these days. A good way to test it is uh, as the as the camera sets, if you turn it on, um, you shine a remote at it and push a button. If your camera can see that LED blinking, uh, it has the ability. So uh, I just wanted to catch up with you on that. I should have added that to begin with, but that's where we're at on the camera. And uh, I'm going to uh, continue on with this and I should be able to finish it up tonight okay so I found my power supply um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit so right I don't know if it's gonna focus probably not gonna focus let me come out so right um, Right here is uh, 12 volts, and it uh, actually goes to the power of the LCD screen. So I just tapped off of that for this camera, and uh, it handles it just right. So that's where I got the camera voltage from, and the LEDs just so happen to have a regulator down here set at 1.2 volts. So I tapped off of that. That's where we're going to get our power for our LEDs. I just need to hook a switch up. And so I can turn them on and off. It's not constantly draining the battery. And I'm still going to hook up the switch for the video. I just got it soldered on right now for testing. But I'm going to hook up the switch so I could disconnect that also. I'm just going to put it on a single pole. I mean double pole, double throw switch. So one switch will cut both the camera. Uh, video and the uh, power to the LEDs all right 
all right so we got it all wired up we have a, a double pole double throw switch I talked about I got the, uh, the video in and out and the power to the LED in and out and uh, just kind of routed them all over the board and those are the LED deals um, over there I, I went with some heat shrink tubing and uh, for the video and then just uh, like I talked about earlier just soldered the back of the, the back of the connector right there and uh, we're gonna put all this together and see if it works all right we got it all put back together I even got to use the uh, the little the water seal right here it fit just perfect um, switch there's no there wasn't no clearance issues there was a little bit on the battery but we fixed that rerouted some wires so let's turn it on see see what happens sorry about that it's my scanner all right comes on that's good it's still alive hang on let me turn it down all right so comes on good let's switch the inputs TV all right that works go back to AV we got a camera now the big deal does it see in the dark raise this up I'm gonna turn some lights off Tori could you get that light for me yes sir uh, look at that as you can see there's not a lot of ambient light in here I'll go to something darker but if I hold that up look at that uh, I could turn it off let's check the switch perfect no signal switch back on it works like a charm well it's bright let's go around the room as you can see hardly any ambient light at all it works really good I'm impressed all right so let's get everything back like it was switching off turn it off all right so that just goes to show you with a little bit of ingenuity you can make just about anything happen don't forget to leave your comments I hope you liked it